That filthy toad's right on the other side of that door. Why don't you do the honor? Sure. One nine five three seven two eight four zero six. The fuck? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck are you? I'm Eddie Winter, and you're in my bunker. Just how the fuck did you get? No. No way. Not after all this time. Don't tell me you actually cracked my code. In the hollow tapes? <laughs> well, hey, it's only been what? 200 years? <laughs> well, look, I'm not sure what you thought you'd find. Gold, jewels, the secrets of the universe. But you get me. One guy. A ghoul, I guess you'd call me. Just living, surviving, and what I got, you can't have. That code? It was a joke. I just wanted to prove how dumb those feds were. Turns out, pretty dumb. So take your asses someplace else. I'm not going anywhere until I get what I came for. Yeah? And what's that? And who are you, huh? You look kind of familiar. But what are you, some kind of robot? Is that what it's like out there now? A world of robot overlords? I knew it. The name's Valentine. Nick Valentine. Remember me? Valentine? The cop? Is that who you're supposed to be? Sorry, pal, but you ain't Nick Valentine. You're just some kind of, uh, machine. You killed my fiance, Jennifer Lance. There's some crimes even you can't get away with, Winter. Your fiance? You mean Valentine's fiance. Pretty girl. A shame what happened to her. But hey, you? Or, you know, the real Valentine? He should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, Robot Man? Why do you even care? Some girl gets whacked 200 years ago, and you come into my home, acting like a hot guy? Christ, look at you. You're not even alive. Then I guess I'm in good company. You're playing ah! the wrong shit. Yeah. We're done here. There's one more thing I've got to do. I wouldn't mind the company if you wanted to tag along. This is it. In this spot, 200 years ago, one of Eddie's boys put a bullet in Jenny Land's back. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny and Nick. I... I'm at a loss. All 
I know is that without mm -hmm. you, Eddie'd still be at large. You made me an accomplice to murder. I'm not exactly thrilled about that. That yeah, was a messy business, I know, but this this meant a lot to me. Winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last proof outside of some long lost institute archive I was ever just a mechanical copy of some cop from a bygone era. I'm not sure how to feel. Does it really matter how you feel? Winter, Jenny, Valentine, they're gone. We're here. We get to make the world what we want. Uh, you're right. It just took me until now to realize it. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to Nick. And I'd hoped with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. But being out here with you, what I, what I finally realized after all this time was that taking down winter, it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice, about doing what's right, and that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours, and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. You don't have to, Nick. We're friends. This is what friends do. <laughs> you can't stop being noble now, can you? Well, come on then. We're not helping anyone standing around here. Yeah, that is if you're, if you're still interested in traveling together. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted some time on your own after all this. Of course. Glad to hear it. Come on, let's get out of here.